Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Are you ready guys to design a checkout page with Elementor? In this video we will show you how to use Elementor to create and customize a beautiful checkout page for your site. Let's get started with some awesome design tips. So guys, let's get straight away. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you can have the full experience. So guys to understand the basics of this video, uh, first of all you will have to own Elementor. In order to have Elementor, you have to own a WordPress website. Then, now let's talk about the WordPress website. This WordPress website that you own does not have to be a free site. Because once we try to go to plugins, as you can see right in this area, click on plugins, you'll be taken to this page, normal nothing weird about it here let's go all the way down and let's click on Elementor and the price is totally free but once you try to activate it or download it you can't really because your website is not upgraded it is not on the premium plan so basically you can't add any kind of plugins into it so in case you would like to add the plugins into it click on upgrade your plan and as you can see install plugins is a premium feature unlock the ability to install this and 50,000 other plugins by upgrading to click create a plan for $40 per month when you install a plugin theme or activate hosting features your domain will change we will make sure that your site's visitors are redirected to the new domain which will be something like that tutorial uh, this is like the name of my Word, Word, wordpress website uh, wordpress comes uh, staging.com instead of the name wordpress.com so now what you will have to do is to simply upgrade your plan and let's get to talk about the actual checkout page design with Elementor so what you need to do also to know that Elementor with the free version will not give you the ability to actually create or edit any checkout page within the actual uh, site because here normally if I try to click on pages I'll be able to create an, a new page normally but uh, and yeah I will have the Elementor features here on the left side of the website and I can drag and drop stuff but this stuff that I can drop and drag and drop using the free Elementor uh, plan you will be only able to drop such things such as images videos uh, spacers text uh, banners uh, stuff like that or is it a code uh, stuff that doesn't require a good PHP code behind it PHP code is very inter uh, very important so you can have everything connected to each other when you click to a button it will take you to an, another page so you can save the database of the client the orders its output and input of the actual uh, details of your client for example if you were going to ship the product to someone you have to own their uh, delivery address and this address is required as an input so the client itself the data that you are going to get is not something that you can uh, have it as Elementor free so you have to get the premium Elementor which is Elementor Pro now for Elementor Pro let's check the prices here so let's go to Elementor Pro plans and you will find that Elementor Pro has three or four main plans so the essential is for only one site you will have 50 Pro widgets theme builder and dynamic content and from form builder so this one is $60 per year uh, which comes let's say let's have calculator here next was so $60 per year let's divide it by 12 it's gonna be around $5 per month now this is uh, for one site but it doesn't have what we need which is the checkout page the checkout page comes with comes with the e-commerce features so the e-commerce features are coming from the advanced mode so the advanced for professional and e-commerce website this will be around 99 so we can divide it by 12 and it's gonna be around 8 point twenty five dollar per per year or per month so this is the site the plan that you have to go for it will give you three sites so you can use this elementary plugin on three sites which is very good you can literally just edit a site use the element on it and then swap to the next site and do the same thing again and again and again now also you have to understand that the plugins that you were going to use in Elementor uh, or the things that you are going to use in Elementor um, such as designing the checkout page doesn't come for free also so there is a lot of payments that's gonna be costing you here guys which is very very unfortunate so first of all you have to get the WooCommerce and WooCommerce um, basically because Elementor is kind of allowing you to edit the e-commerce features of WooCommerce if you understand so 
let me just get like a pants here so I can understand, make you understand well. So this is WordPress, all right, okay? So this is WordPress and this is Elementor. So this is Elementor. So Elementor cannot adjust WordPress directly because basically you can adjust it, but WordPress itself doesn't have e-commerce in it. Doesn't have, it is not a store. But WordPress has a connection with another plugin which called WooCommerce. So WooCommerce is connected to WordPress and Elementor can edit WooCommerce. So basically with the premium plan of Elementor you can have the access to WooCommerce and with WooCommerce you can make a website in WordPress that comes out as an e-commerce store. So with WooCommerce to add it to WordPress you have to pay. So you have to pay around $300 so it's going to be a fee for $300 and here for Elementor itself you have to pay uh, as we saw here it is going to be it's 8.25 per month so this is how much you have to pay per month so basically you have to pay around uh, like in total we saw like $400 per month just for your WordPress to have WooCommerce with Elementor which comes for a very very high price and basically once you have these two you don't have to worry it's pretty clear after that you simply have to download Elementor and then WooCommerce and then go to the checkout page it will be added automatically in the pages area right here so you will find here instead of these pages the random pages that I have at the moment you will have every single page that will be needed in any kind of e-commerce store so you will have for example um, let me just zoom on this. So you will have the store page, you have product page, you will have e the checkout page, you will have other pages that can come or the card page also, and you will have everything like in this page in, in this area within the pages section. So once you open it, once you have it between your head, you can click on them, click on edit, and instead of edit normal, you will find edit with elementor. So you can click on edit with elementor, go to that specific page, and then you can simply drag and drop, click on buttons, change the text on buttons, change the color, change the place of the input and do adjust everything you want it exactly how you want it to be so it can match your theme plate you can match your brand and have everything clear for the actual client so it can be both visual appealing that will boost your sales it will make the card abundance much more or less and with that you will have much more revenue and much more sales so this is very 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 important thing to understand with this video guys you will have at least to own four hundred dollars within your bank account elementor wordpress and woocommerce and you will be good to go with creating your checkout page using elementor woocommerce and wordpress so yeah guys that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it thank you guys a lot for watching if you have any more questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section and see you guys in the next tutorial Bye bye